for you are everything for us. Because everything is you. We thank you for the grace you are giving unto us to know you as our Lord and Savior. We thank you, Lord, for the power you've given unto us to make words. Father, we bless your holy name. Because heaven and earth shall pass away, your word remains the same. Your word is what you are giving unto us. That is all we have. To see ourselves through this mirror of your word, in order for us to book our flight unto the heavens when the time shall come. Heavenly Father, we want to go and examine your word again this morning. Lord, teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. Make us to know your word. Amen. Increase us on every side. Amen. Sanctify our life with your goodness in your word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask that you rebook the devourer. I mean, one to hinder your word in our ear. We commit our heart to you, Lord. That, Lord Jesus, you bless our heart in this your world. And at the end of today, service. Lord, both the hearer and the speaker of this world, we have testimony. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For making my mouth a pen of a little writer. Amen. And to speak the word that taught me how to be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, can they hear me online? Okay. Today, I will speak on the part two of the teaching Define Goodness. This month is the month of divine goodness. I pray that the Almighty God will grant unto us His divine goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The text is taken, my brother read that text for us. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. The Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which, according to his abundant mercy, has given, has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I declare every death in our life shall rise again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord asks a question for me seeker. Can this drag bone live? He said, Lord, you are the one that I know. Every drag bone under this teaching, both the realm of the physical and the realm of the spirit, shall revive. Amen. Christ appeared to bring life unto us. The Bible says that our dead in trespasses are saved through the blood of Christ. Because he Thank you. 
Christ live. Because Christ live. My tomorrow is great. My tomorrow is great. And my future is bright. And my future is bright. And we'll read verse 4 together on the screen. Let's go. To our inheritance incorruptible, and undefined, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. This is what Christ says. No one leave his loved one and walk for the gospel. I will not be rewarded. He will be rewarded here on earth. And he said, and he is going to be rewarded in heaven. He's going to gain heaven. In as much as you do it with the right heart. In as much as you give your heart for Christ. In as much and you don't reserve anything for him. But you give it all. Because God wants all. That's why I say, give your heart to me. If he have your heart, he have your body. If he have your heart, he have your money. If he have your heart, they have your love. If you have your heart, they have your sacrifice. Because when your heart is with somebody, there is nothing that you will not give to that person. You can, you can, you can, you can bear my witness. When you give your heart to somebody, that means you are in love with that person. And love. It's like a death. And notice why the Bible says, Apostle Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. Say, nevertheless, I live. Because the life that I live now, I live by the power of God. That is it, Christ Jesus. Who will love me? and gave his self for me. We need to get to that place where we offer ourselves a living sacrifice. I'm talking about the divine goodness of God. I'm talking about the divine goodness of God. Where we lay everything bare before him. When we don't have secret in our closet. When we are all for him. The truth of the matter is that when God sees that. That we are genuine for him. is ready. And is ever ready and willing. To show his wonderful work in our lives by making his goodness to be seen in our life. Last week I defined divine goodness and I'm not going to do the repetition of that but I take where I hand it when Moses said, show me your glory. Anyone that see the goodness of God, see the glory of God. The fine goodness of God is the glory of God in the life of men. That I pray this afternoon, that both me and you we will see the glory of God in our life. Amen. Amen. Because the goodness of God make the glory of God to appear in your life. That is why the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 61 and verse 1, it says, Arise and walk shine. and shine. For your light has come. 
and the glory of God is risen over you. Divine goodness of God is for you. When God have mercy on you and just show favor, He just favor you. And then you will begin to enjoy this divine goodness of God in all areas of your life. And I'm going deeper on this teaching to tell you that it is the divine goodness of God in your life that enable you to do the right thing. That make the doors of breakthrough to open for you. The fine goodness of God enable a man to humble himself before God and before men. When God gives you this divine goodness, it's going to enable you not to make a mistake. It's going to give you the strength not to enter into error. When you can see other people are entering into error in your face. The Bible says, and this Daniel proposed in his heart, in his heart, that he will not define himself with the person of King's meat, nor the one with the drum. Therefore, he required from the prince of Enoch that he should give him beans. Why? Because he does not want to associate with somebody that can pollute the spirit of God in him. Because in life, people that have the goodness of God, you are tired of God, you need the Holy Spirit of God. You need the spirit. And that, let can I just digress a little bit? If you want to make it in life, let's say you want to be rich, because we know that Christ died for us to be rich. Poverty is not a good thing. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be poor. And I don't pray that you're poor. You see, all these running around, etc., you want to be rich? Don't run around like that. Run to God and pray earnestly. What did I say? Pray. Run to God and pray. Pray earnestly. What did I say? Run to God and pray. Can I hear you from back? Run to God and pray. Yeah, that God will empire you with the power of the Holy Spirit. When you get that spirit of God, you will never be poor. Trust me. Nobody is a cool with the power of the Holy Spirit. That poor. But if you don't have that power, you will be looking for other power. That is why you see people go to Sosra. That is why the people go to Nogoma. That is why we go to Witches. That is why they go to Habalis to do a camouflage blessing, the one that is man can do. And that is why you see people running, 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 and walk and walk and walk because they want to compete with somebody that have the spirit of God. You cannot compete now. The people that have the spirit of God, which I pray me and you will have. Amen. <laughs> And some people you don't even say that big amen. Hey, yeah. Are you are you are you are you in the audience? Yes, yes sir. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I digress a little bit, but I believe God wants you to hear this. Pray for the power of the Holy Spirit into your life. And when it comes, and you do not do anything that's gonna make him to be offended or offended and run away because they can go to obscurity. The Holy Spirit can be passive in your life. If you are entering into error willingly, willfully, when you are joined evil com uh, companions, he doesn't like dirty things. But when you give your life for him and for her, and the power of the Holy Spirit, he's the one that teaches you. He's the one that gives you information. And the great secret relief is the Holy Spirit. You can be on your bed, and the Holy Spirit will give you instruction. That when you wake up, this is what you're going to do. The Holy Spirit opens the door and look. Can I tell you another thing? This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. This is exactly the time the Holy Spirit is working. But if you don't have time to pray for it, because the Bible says we should, it actually asks a disciple, we say you should tarry, wait for it until it come. If it doesn't come, don't, don't embark on the work of the ministry because you will fail. Because he knows that the apostle need the power of the Holy Spirit. 
and they waited for good ten days, fasting and praying. They were praying. And when that spirit came, the Bible said, He gave unto everyone according to what they need. One spirit spread to 120 people in the upper room, and the Bible said they were all empowered and were speaking in tongues. And the man that spoke that day, Apostle Peter, he had been preaching before. But the Bible say 3,000. The Bible was, the, the Bible say they were not, they were agitated. What can, what shall we do? It's like they never hear anybody preach to them before. That is what the Holy Spirit can do. It's more than your own effort, your own ability, your own knowledge, your own brain. But what about this stumbling block of unwilling? To pray. The stumbling block of unwilling to do what is going to attract the Holy Spirit into your life, which is holy life. You need to take that obstacles away and pray and wait until it comes. And when it comes, you yourself you will know that Spirit of God come. And not only you, people around you that you are a different person. Do you think it's not ordinary stone that went into the, into the head of Goliath by a young boy? It's empowered by the power of God. So your little effort brings unto you abundance. Result. So when God and when you have, when you, the goodness of God is upon you, you enable you to live right. <laughs> The brother of uh, the brother, the brethren of uh, uh, of uh, David, they were in the house waiting. The spirit of God moved. Some of the boy are not there. In fact, when he saw Elia, he said, "Yes, of indeed, because of the attributes and the persona of uh, of Elia, <laughs> actually, you know." Uh, mislead uh, someone to say, of course, this is a king. And he was going to say, no. Sometimes, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you will do business with the wrong person. You will choose the wrong person. Do you understand? But when the Holy Spirit is in you, you will never make a mistake. You want to get married, pray for the Holy Spirit. You want to choose your career, pray for the Holy Spirit. When that Spirit comes, you will never mischoose. Some people say that that's, that cause is not a good cause. When the Spirit of God comes and says, well, that is what I want you to do. Even though you don't like it, once you are willing to obey to the voice of the Spirit, that cause will be easiest for you. One of my nephews is a civil engineer. Among his siblings, when he was in the, uh, uh, the secondary, uh, uh, he was struggling. But when he did not take a job, when he did not take a course, he take a civil engineer. We say a very great, uh, <laughs> it's a great uh, concern for him. But he graduated as a first class. He graduated as a first class. And I said, we break that ball. Because that is what the Spirit of God can do. It make you to be excellent. And the Bible say of this Daniel, there is a spirit of excellency in him. It was because he see the goodness of God. That was why he could keep himself among the Gentiles. And how will you keep yourself here in this country? If God is not good to you, if you don't see the favor of God, to live right in this country, God has to be good to you. Because I tell you, you cannot do it by your own power. <laughs> the temptation is much. The deceitfulness is great. The temptation is alarming. But when God is good to you, you will say through it all. I am more than conqueror. When God is good to you, you won't 
argue your way from doing what God asks you to do. Listen to me, my brother, my sister. Charlie's matter, you know, uh, five years old argument. The wise people don't argue with the truth. As a child of God, for you to move in a dimension that God wants you to move with him, in the space that God wants you to move away, you have to be a quick hearer of the word of God. An addicted, obedient child of God who obeys the word of God as he sent it. Don't compromise. Don't deceive yourself and don't waste your time. Because it doesn't give it, not, it doesn't profit anybody to waste some time. I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste my time. And it is not good for you to work with Christ like Judas. And about to get to your promised land, you mess it up because of the weakness of unwilling to change. You are told of Judas that he had a weakness in his life. His weakness was confectiousness. The Bible said he was a thief. When they took uh, the alabaster box and break it and, and begin to, he said, ah, 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 what a wastage. How this an expensive, I mean, we could have actually sell this for more. And you already value, <laughs> you already value how much that uh, uh, oil can cost. It's going to cost like 300 now, they say, we could have used it for the poor. The Bible said, no, it wasn't clear about the poor. It was clear about his own pocket. Because the Bible said he was a thief. Because it was, that's why Jesus put him there. So steal as you can't. That's your, that's your, that's your ministry. So whenever they need money, and the brother, <laughs> Brother Judas has stolen everything. Judas has said, go to the <laughs> go to the fish. Go to the water. Go, go and, and bring fish. I already stopped fish. I already stopped money there. Because it can provide for your need at all times. My God shall provide for my needs. My God. According to his riches. His weakness. Hinder him how to make it. And that is why I pray that the Lord will be good to you. Amen. It was the fine good that I'm talking about that Christ saw in the life of Peter. And he knew the hell that Satan had towards him. He said, Simon, Simon, Peter. He said, Satan has determined to shift you like a wheat. But guess what? I have a good news for you. He said, I had you don't need to pray. Do you understand? He said, I'll pray for you. Why? Because God saw his sincerity. He saw that he's genuine. And he knew that the devil want to have him by all means. That the devil want everybody that genuinely safe. Or people that have virtue. The devil is, is, is waiting on sin war towards you. And that is why you have to be smarter than the devil. Never allow the word of God to fall into the ground in your heart. Just take it up and do it. No. I know that you may have this weakness. But when you overcome that temptation, in temptation you overcome, that you obey the word of God instead of your own desire, the Bible says it's going to make you more stronger. God help you to carry his banner and serve him. Wherever you go, and when you are tempted, my brother, God give you that grace to say no. We all need that grace. And when God is good to you, you say no. Brother Joseph, in the foreign land, he will never become a prime minister if he has four in the house of Potiphar. But glory be to God. He said, I cannot do this. That is why it is good for us to train our children in the way of the Lord. But when they grow old, they will not depart. He said, I cannot do this with a sin, not against my, against my boss. He said, my boss, I give him everything in this house. I am a master of this house. 
I'm a master of the slave. I'm a master of all the staff. I'm in charge of everything. He said, but only one thing he did not give to me, and that is you. How will I do this wickedness and trespass and I sin against God? He said, no. And he was planning for it. But at last, he laughed last. I declare, me and you shall laugh last. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, I want you to put up the subject and say, my brother, my my sisters, sisters. be careful about your witness. Be careful about your witness. As a matter of fact, you won't be at peace with guilty conscience until you confess your sin and forsake them when God is good to you. The goodness of God in your life is what makes people to be remorseful and ask God for forgiveness of their sin. Divine goodness make you to confess your sin and forsake them. Not only forsake, not only forget them, but say, I don't want to go back to that error. Divine goodness make you not to walk in the cancer with the ungodly around you. That intentionally contradict the word of God. Divine goodness of God make you not to stand in the way of sinners. By copying what sinners are doing to justify their ungodliness. When you see the goodness of God, you will run away from all form of ungodliness. I declare that God Almighty will give you that grace to run from ungodliness. Amen. Amen. The definition of ungodliness, of ungodliness is wickedness. When somebody says, this one is ungodly, it means wickedness. Hallelujah. Amen. It means disregard of what God and his commandment require from you. It's ungodliness. Because what God said, he said, no. I don't want it. It means the neglect of worshiping God. The worshiping of God. People that do not serve God, they are ungodly. People say, I don't, I don't, there is no need for me to worship God. That some people say, I don't need to ask for forgiveness of sin. I don't need to give my life to Christ. I don't need to obey the word of God. All these are ungodliness. And then, the act of disobedience to God and his word are all defined as ungodliness. Now, when you are not receiving Hallelujah. Amen. What God is telling you, that means that you are not referencing God. As our parents, if they give all the instruction and we are not carrying it out, that means that we are disrespecting our parents, isn't it? Okay. So also, ungodly means that somebody that do not reference God. Anymore from your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ungodly means when you are not reference the word of God anymore. Ungodliness means when the word of God becomes cumbersome for you, within you, that you have no willingness to obey the word of God again. That person has become ungodly. And I'm going to tell you the trouble there. The trouble that ungodliness brings into the life of man is that ungodliness makes the wrath of God to be seen in the life of man. Oluwa majen se ho, Oluwa majen ribinure. Ojo ibinu alonu o go masero sori mi baba ma ba mi dao. When God is fighting with you, when you see the wrath of God, when God said do this, you will say no, I will not do. 
Look at the scripture. God told Moses, go and tell Pharaoh. Let my people go. And God, because it's, 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 it's all knowing. He said, but he will not let you go. <laughs> he will not let you go. Until I use my strength hand with power to pull you away from him. I declare every soul pharaoh problem. Thank you, my dear. God bless you. That's it. He will not let you go. I declare by the message of God, he will let you go now. Yeah. Yeah. Let you go today. Yeah. 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 And exactly as the world has predicted. He did not. He said, I don't know that God. So when God say, my son, my daughter, don't they say, no, there are people that God give them. This is your life partner. They say, no, why? He doesn't have money. Do you understand? He said, he doesn't have money. And of course, that brother does not have money. <laughs> At that time, he's a bata. Kumba longe. Kumba sebae. We begin to walk and walk and walk and walk. Especially in Nigeria. Mm. All these brothers, they only have one shirt and one trusher. They can walk and walk. And some of them are graduate. While they are walking, they are walking all this, uh, I want to manja I don't know what they did. Eh? Uh -huh. They started looking for customers. <laughs> and that is quickly, it quickly wear your shoe out. Quickly, quickly. They are looking for marketer. They are looking for somebody. And that brother. And when he say, I want to marry you, Come and see the odor that will come out. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. And you, sister, that God said, that is your only day. Ah, ah. That was that was a one sister. That was a one sister. That uh, that one of my pastor took uh, that man is working, he has a shoemaker shop, and then I believe he has he work in the company. And he wants to marry. He got revealed he revealed to him that he's a his wife is a fashion design. And there was a sister that was a fashion designer in that uh, pastor church. And said, oh, I know you are a child of God. Come and see you, this sister. And when, when they brought that man to that sister, and the man was saying, God, this and that, when they escort that man finished, the, the sister called him and said, Pastor, ah, 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 why do you what uh, uh, me? But no, I, I can't. Of course, she didn't marry that brother, and she never married until she died. Hmm. <laughs> Instruction! You see this guy? This Alake? Okay. Omoke. Ojo. Ever beautiful. She won the 2023 uh, Miss Award. But she already won 2024 <laughs> and 2025 and 2026. Hallelujah! Amen. Nobody knows the ways of the Lord. The Lord told me, this is, and she was going, this woman, this is a girl, she was going to a church, an evening church, and you tell him, you people that didn't want to go to evening service, you don't want to go to evening service. The day that I saw her, she was going to evening service, unknownly to her, that, that was the day God will show me my wife. Me just went to my town to go and visit my parents. And as and I was New York and I was by my, my father's house I was in there. As he was going, and he was saying, and the Holy Spirit, I already received the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit said, That is your wife. And I look, Holy Spirit. Eh, thank you. And that's it. I don't know her. We don't have rapport. I don't, I started investigating her. And one of my best friends, the one that did the best man too, he was the one that actually, because they were going to the same church, I asked about her. Never knew that 
He too already went to the pastor to go and uh, marry sister. And sister said, I'm not going to marry him. So when, <laughs> when, I, when I told my brother, my brother, I don't condemn my wife for me. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know that he was, uh, he was, he has interest. But after many years, nine good years, that I finally proposed to her. The same brother said, Sir, I know that. She just, I said, I want to do marriage. He said, No, don't tell me her name. She just immediately tell me my wife's name. Without no, without. He was in a footer, he was in a uh, college. Uh, uh, photo. Oh, really? And he just tell me, he told me that. That I said, wow. And that's it. You don't give me trouble. If I had married somebody else, mm. ha, I would be in soup. That's the Spirit of God. He knows the future. So, when God say, I want you to be a Automatic engineering as a work now. Don't say they are dirty. If you go and say, I want you to do my work now, you may be a pastor and you can still be a doctor. You may be a pastor and you can be an engineer. You may be a Sunday school teacher. Of course, our uh, our president, Jimmy Carter, he was the president and he was a Sunday school teacher in his church. After he finished his presidency, he said Sunday school teacher. 80 years, almost on, when he had uh, this uh, cancer, and this man beat cancer for almost five times. The last time he had, he said, no, I don't want us to take me home, he's home now. He said, uh, because he's ready to go. Those are goodness of God that you receive. Mouth cannot explain it. You don't find out that you are doing things right. You find out why out of thousands and thousands of, of the young men that were taken to Babylon, why do we only hear four? That nice second message can have been. Why? Because God was good to them. And these people are ready to obey the word of God. Second message can have go. They have these three friends. They say no. Concerning the love of our God. If it's concerning this matter of buying down to the idol, because you, our God, is good to us, he said no. He said, because our God has power to deliver us from this for now, if he choose to. But if it's not, still we are convinced that our God is the true God, not idol. So we know about that. Those are grace. Not only when you have all the money in your bank, you say, God is good. You say, my God is good, though. My God is good, though. Now he, they make me, they, they laugh. Make me laugh, oh. make me dance. Oh. When money, when you have a overdrawn your account, <laughs> and uh, Bank of America, you know, you know they are taking from people that doesn't have. Mm -hmm. All these uh, uh, crook uh, bank, they are taking from people that doesn't have. People that have, they give them all. People that don't have, they take it from them. <laughs> Bible is fulfilling. Out of people that uh, don't have, we take and give to the people. That have, no, they, they, they. Hallelujah. I declare by the message of God that both me and you shall be elaborated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. When he said, my God is good, when you have an overdraw, you begin to say, ah, I need to reprioritize my priority. I, I'm wasting my time in the service of God. Jacking why second say. So you take another job. And that one, when you mow down, you don't even have time anymore for the things of God. The devil is there, jagini, 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 jagini. This is how men lost the battle with the devil. I declare by the message of God, me and you shall rise. Somebody say we are rise. I beg you, don't.
Don't move around with this teaching. Don't distract. The Holy Spirit is working in me right now. The Holy Spirit is working now. Listen to this message very well. Today is your day of liberation. Amen. Amen. Who need money? Do you need money? Yes. yes. The Bible says money answer all, all things. But how do you get money? By working? No. Nobody gets money by working. You only get money, hallelujah, Amen. by favor of God. I'm talking money. Money. The Bible says, wisdom says, reach it and honor her with me. I'm more than going to have it. Not work. Yes, you must work. Every man must work. Because if you don't work, you're not supposed to eat. But it is good to, for you to work with wisdom. And that is why at the beginning I said you need a spirit for God. And if, do you know why many people also uh, miss it in life? It's because they are copycat. Somebody that is here for 10 years, you are here one year, you want to be like him at the same time. You have a wrong priority. Yes, favor of God can take you there. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's never it's going to be by your work. Somebody said the Lord will favor me. The Lord, Lord will favor me. me. We need, when you see the goodness of God, favor come into you. On us, every area. You don't find some people, hallelujah. Amen. You find out when you're talking about money, God gave to them. When you're talking about good health, God gave to them. When you're talking about family, God gave to them. When you're talking about, you know, you know, the people, they just have, you know, people talk about Solomon. The Bible says this man was a man of rest. Who doesn't want a man of rest? Because the message, the message of his father, of David, he was upon him. I would say, even your children say, in as much as they come to confess, I will forgive them. Saul do not have that grace. How somebody sins, uh, David sin, the sin that David sin is supposed to die. And God told him that. It, it was the one that actually sent himself. You remember the story? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But still, he said, God has said, God say, I have forgiven you. The person that tells him about his death is the one that tells him, he said, God tell him I have forgiven him. You have to say that, just forgive him. Because God wants to release him that all this you are carrying. Because he couldn't, it's not, it was not himself. When they now, when you now know the secret is revealed. You know, when you don't want people to know, when people not know, you will have this, uh, <laughs> you will have rest of mind. They are forgiving you. So we are in the world. God begin to ask a man, choose which punishment you will take. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He went to go and number. And Joab tell him that boss. The Bible said the Satan. Satan stood before before David. A struggle and declare every Satan that stood before him. The Lord will destroy them. Hey. Hey. He won the question again, and he said, go and go and number, go and come. That's a pride. The job said, mm -mm, this is unlike you, master. He said, sir, if I have a phone, he said, shut up your mouth. I am the boss. Go, 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 and number. After we they finished that, <laughs> the Lord told him that, he has said, ah, God, I'm sorry. God, I will punish you, because no sinner go without punishment. But choose. <laughs> Do you want to fall into the hand of God? You want to fall into the hand of men? Ah, let me say, mm, bye. <laughs> I don't want to fall into the hand of man because man is good. Let me fall into your hand. Mm. God, <laughs> let's have a hand over that. God. <laughs> we, are, we are talking about the goodness of God. And God was good to him. And when that punishment come, none of his family, no, none of his pain, it was the people. Mm. Let me stop here. Yeah. I'm going to do the part three two uh, next week. Somebody said hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's stand up on our feet.
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I declare by your mercy yes, that the goodness of God shall come into our life. Amen. The favor of God shall come into our life. Amen. Somebody say, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. by your great power, by your great power, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Show me your goodness. Show me your goodness. Show me your mercy on me, God. Show me your goodness. 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 And in Jesus' name we are praying. I declare the Lord will show you his goodness. Amen. Somebody say, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By your great power. By your great power. Touch me one more time. Touch me one more time. By your sweet spirit. By your spirit. Open your mouth and pray that my name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that Lord you will touch us. Every member of the church. With your sweet spirit. With your sweet spirit. With your sweet spirit. To teach us, Lord, the way that we will go. Even in this crooked world. Even in this generation. In the name of Jesus. Master, take care of us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Touch me one more time. Oh, favor of God, that will move you in the dimension of, of, of flesh to take you to the dimension of the spirit. We need that touch from the Father. We need that touch from the Lord. Touch me one more time. Oh, Lord. Can you sing that song with me? Hallelujah. Your faith. I declare 
From today, you will look unto Jesus. Hey, hey. Where Bill is piling. Who are you going to look unto? Jesus. The grace to look. Because it's another grace. When you are in the pressure to say, I will hold on to God. It, it is only the people that God is good to. I declare the Lord will be good unto us. Hey! Yes. Somebody yes. say in the midst of challenges. In the midst of depression. In the midst of pain. And in the midst of abundance. Because when you are, when God, most especially we that come to our America here, Tabasia sent you. If you don't miss, I said you have the way. Overdo. Oh, thank you. If we don't overdo, at least you will live a fine good life here. Mm -hmm. That's right. You will live good life. Mm -hmm. Yes. When you cut your coat, your 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 thank you, thank you, sir. Cut it material. You will know, you will know, you will, know, you will, know, you will be okay. Yeah. At least you will eat. You will never be, of course, nobody will be homeless in this church. Amen. Amen. That, I think that's a, a magic don't know that here. You will never be homeless. Hey. 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 And you will not go hungry. Hey. Hey. And you will not want naked. Hey. Hey. Yes. No, I want that. Yes. I will you will not push me to what I don't I can do. Mm -mm. I will already count my course very well. Yeah. Before I will say now, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. If the Lord is telling me to take a faith, a step of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. I must hear him and this him before I dive into it. And he opens the way. And that is why when you see God do miracle, that I testify. It's not me because you know I don't have the source of it. You know it. You see my education? Is it my word? No, but when God is in the equation, mm. you will find out that is everything just, just like that. Mm. So don't overdo it. So, but the truth of the matter is that when you are in the midst, because a lot of people, you know, join evil court, join bank gang, you know, you know, because of the pressure that they are going through. But I don't know who is in pressure. Either I fall off and you or, 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 that's not the issue now. The issue now that in the midst, the grace to focus on Christ. In the midst of depression. In the midst of challenge that the Lord will grant unto us. Let us pray in the mighty name of God. In the midst of challenges of life, every member of this church, Lord, we commit and say that we look unto you. You say, Look unto me, all the earth, all the nations of the world. I am the Lord, and there is no one else without me. Oh, we want to look unto you, Lord. On the cross, the one that take our sins away, that take our sorrows away, that take our problems away, we look unto you in the name of Jesus. And in Jesus' name, we are praying. You are doing good. I want you to intensify that prayer. That's going to be a deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I break. I break. Every chain of the enemy, pulling me to the wall. To the wall. Open your mouth and get the name of Jesus Christ. I break, break every evil chain, pulling any members of the church to the wall. That chain, pulling us to the wall. I break you in the name of Jesus. Any evil chain, drawing my family, drawing my children to the wall. I break you now. Any evil chain that may want to drop me down, I break you now.
Put it there. I declare every chains of the evil one tie you and pull you away from God. I declare that chain that that they break now. Break now. Break now. Die this. Die your time. In the name of Jesus. The day I received the Holy Spirit into my life, my life take a good turn. I was overwhelmed with the power of the Holy Spirit. I was swimming in the ocean of the power of God. Here, everyone listening to the sound of my voice, that experience of that day, I informed the power of the Almighty God Amen. to place into your life now Amen. the Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Let the power of God come Amen. into your life. Amen. Receive now Amen. the breath of God. Amen. Receive now Amen. the power of God. Amen. Receive now Amen. Holy Spirit of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any evil thing that you have eaten in the dream that is affecting your destiny, I declare the Holy Ghost fire from the Lord. Every word that you have had that is destroying your stomach, one day you by going in knocking back. Every word that is tormenting your mind, tormenting your your belly, that is making your mind to be bitter. I declare the only God will flood them out. What you are put that is in that your mind, in your heart, in your belly, that say I will never forgive him, I will never forgive her. I say, I, I will make sure that I revenge. Go for a one, you don't buy a son, go see me, Christy. Go for a B, Tiok, in Tariti, and here. Go see me, Christy. Every spirit of bitterness, of anger, and pain, of forgiveness, is not the spirit of God. So I declare, I put fire into your belly. And I had the only go fire. Flows every bit of hand. Flows every pain. Out. The Holy Spirit does tell me now that there is someone here that the Lord is set to set you free from erroneous spirit. I declare every erroneous erroneous spirit. I went me keep walking back. I went me to know me my say. I went me to embellecum. I went me to embellecum. Those are the spirit that take good from the person. And the Bible say, after Job has prayed for his friend, the Lord restored back his virtue. I declare every spirit that want to harm you, that want you to enter into error. I ask the only God to do that. that hey, hey. Today, your day of that hey, hey. you will not go to error. Hey, hey. You will not enter to error. Hey, hey. You are delivered. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. You are delivered. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. You are delivered. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. You are delivered. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. You are delivered. You are free. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. You are free. Hey, hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, hey. I saw Eli. Hey, hey. I declare, let that be our Lord. Hey, hey. We claim Eli. Hey, hey. I pray for that, my brother that came today. All the area that you need God to answer you, you have come to the right place at the right time. I declare may the Lord answer for you. Let God be open up for you. Into your life Amen. right now, Amen. and I use you as a point of contact for the Amen. for many people that will join us this year. Amen. That there shall be an open level. And I pray for all the hearers of this message Amen. that there shall be open level. Everyone that will hear this message thereafter, there shall be open level. I declare when we shall come next week, both me and you will have testimony. So shall it be. I cover that prayer with the blood of Jesus. And Lord, when that prayer is manifest in our life, Father, don't let us be too proud. Give us the grace to humble ourselves. So that you can continue to go to the Present upon present, land upon land. For the mouth of the last, for God. 
Somebody say, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. I receive my deliverance. I receive my wealth. I receive wisdom. And honor. And glory. And grace. So shall you be. In Jesus' name we pray. I will share the grace of fellowship, the grace, grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love, love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Our anchor. Thou art the light and step on the knee, that my feet in the Amen. Amen. Uh, can we shout powerful to the hallelujah? Let's go. Amen.